Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. Today I'm going to try a little experiment with SQL Server both on-premise and in the cloud. What I have is SQL Server Management Studio and I have SQL Server uh, 12 here and I have uh, SQL Azure and then I have um, SQL Server 2008 um, with Amazon RDS which is a new uh, implementation. So um, what I'm going to try to do is move some data around and see how the tools work inside of uh, Management Studio. So the business case is I have a database here, AdventureWorks Lite, and what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, use some of my tools to see if I can move this database around. So uh, let's get a list of the tools and then we'll see how they work. All right, so the first thing you'd think to do to get some data would be to back up and restore it. And as you're probably uh, aware, you can't do that with cloud. So if I right click on databases, I don't even have the option on SQL Azure. Now I do have the option on uh, my Amazon uh, instance to restore, but if I try to connect out to, uh, to a device um, that's not on the cluster, I'm just going to get an error. So that's just not going to work at all. So uh, the next thing that I'm going to do, so that doesn't work, is I'm going to look at the SQL Azure Migration Wizard. So let me bring that up and uh, let me see how this works. I'm just going to come back after it's configured. Now this is one of my favorite tools for moving data around to SQL Azure. It's telling me that XML um, schema collections from my sample AdventureWorks LT are not supported and uh, XML indexes. So I'm going to see what happens when I try to just run it anyway to see if it fails or works. Oh, this is such a good tool. Thanks to George Huey for putting it up on CodePlex. You can see it's hitting the error on the product model catalog description XML and it's saying what do you want me to do? So I'm going to go ahead and skip that and see what happens. And now it's done. Well you can see in our original uh, schema we had a product model table with that XML column and you know the wizard did what we told it to do so over in SQL Azure we just don't have that table which may or may not work for us. So now let's try it on the Amazon instance. Well, that was good. What I did is when I used the migration wizard, instead of setting it to SQL Azure, I set it to SQL Server, but I put in the Amazon connection string. And uh, it worked just the way I thought. So it brought over all the features. So here's my instance of the Amazon server, and I've got my product model with my XML. So um, that was definitely a win for Amazon. So all features um, come over, which just seems like what I would prefer to have. So got some more to test. All right, the next thing to try is we have on on-prem this uh, option to deploy database to SQL Azure. Let's see how that works. So uh, what that's going to do is, I don't know, let's try it out. Um, all right, that looks good and I have to configure my connection so hold on while I do that. Alright, it's configured. Let's see if it works. Looks like it's doing kind of a DAC pack thing. Oh, no, didn't work. So let's see what happened here. So it's the unsupported stuff again. So it looks like this is a version of the uh, migration tool that's free on CodePlex in the product, but it has to have only the SQL Azure compliant features. That's what it looks like. Now I'm going to try it with the Amazon version, see how that works. Nope, I tried to trick it, but um, you can see indeed that what's deployed on Amazon obviously is not SQL Azure. thought it might work though. Let me try a DAC pack. I exported a DAC pack of AdventureWorks LT, and let me try and import that and see what happens on SQL Azure. Nope, that was looking for a backpack, not a DAC pack, so that didn't work. Well, that didn't work either. So my first foray into tools is a win for the SQL Azure migration tool. So um, hope this helps. More on the uh, uh, AWS uh, SQL Server RDS versus SQL Azure Smackdown in the continuing series. This is Lynn Langett with all things data, www.lynnlangett.com.